This video will show how to create a separate plan region to create uh, multiple viewing levels. As you look at this floor plan, you see that we are cutting through at the window level, so the windows, doors, cabinetry all show appropriately. But as you step into the garage, you can see it's quite a ways down by the number of steps. Uh, you don't see the hinge door here, you don't see the overhead doors here, you can barely see the windows here. So, uh, if I was to edit the view range down here on the properties window, go in and check the view range, it's currently associated with the main floor and the cutting plane uh, is at 6 foot 2. Okay, so I could edit that um, and lower it to help accommodate the garage and I'll go down to something like 2 feet and apply that and now you can see we're cutting through the overhead doors but we still haven't got the hinge door so I'm going to go down to one foot there it is now we're good uh, we're a little too low to see the window so I have to do some fine tuning but we're low enough to see the overhead doors and the hinge door but look at what we've lost on the main floor we've lost all the windows so we can't change the global uh, setting for the view range. We have to leave that where it was and I had it at about uh, 6 foot 2 I believe work nicely. Apply. There you go. If you look back at the main floor we've got our cabinetry and windows and doors all showing properly. So rather than editing that view range of the entire main floor plan I'm going to create a, uh, a plan region. So I'll just go normally you're in the home tab uh, before we go and do any editing, I'm going to turn off the line weights. It's just helpful to see. I'm going to zoom into the garage area. And now, uh, since this is a visual adjustment that we're making, it does make sense that it's under the View tab. So I hit the View tab, and I come across to Plan Views. Okay, I'm going to create a plan view, and I hit that drop down. There are several to choose from. This is where you do uh, reflected ceiling, uh, create another floor plan or an area plan, but we're going to focus on the plan region. So it creates a region within a view, and that's exactly what we want to do. We want to have a separate viewing region in the garage that we can adjust the cutting plane height to suit that room and not affect the rest of the house. So I click on that, and it takes us into our creation, uh, create plan region boundary, and I'm going to use the line, which is already highlighted, and I'm going to draw along the outside of my Garage. So I'm just O snapping to the outside of the garage. And maybe I'll line up with the outside face of the house sheathing or a finish, I mean. And click. Okay, so now I have a closed boundary that's going to define this new view range. So I hit escape to be done with it. Uh, make sure that all the corners are closed. You may have to trim or, or extend them to suit, but it'll warn you if they're not closed, as we'll see in a minute. So I think I'm happy with that area, and there's no other place that I want to affect, so I'm going to hit the check mark. And there, now I've got a boundary, and you can see it's editable. I can drag it and adjust it after the fact. I can drag on any of these arrows if I wasn't perfectly happy with where it was. So uh, now what I'm going to do is you can see that it barely it shows up as a green line there, barely see it. And if I tab, I can flip between it and the wall types until I get the plan region highlighted. So now the plan region is highlighted. You can see it has its own view range, and that's all it is, is a separate view range. It doesn't affect the model any other way. So I'm going to edit this. And rather than having the cut plane associated with the main floor, it makes sense to have this associated with the garage floor. So I'm going to start, I have a spot elevation called garage floor, so I'm going to make that my spot. Uh, the top range doesn't matter. And I'm going to set that for right at the top of the uh, hinge door. It's a 6 foot 8 hinge door, so if I put it 6 foot 8 from that floor, I should be able to see the hinge door and get this window uh, up here, which is fairly high, uh, at a high elevation, as you can see uh, from the exterior elevations. So let's try it. I've got a 6 foot 8 cut plane as it associated with the garage floor. So let's look at that. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm going to turn the line weights on and just confirm that. Uh, the, these, this window shows up, but it's not perfect. 
I'm at the very top of this door. I'm cutting through my garage door, so I'm fairly happy with that. Uh, I'm going to just show you where those windows are uh, and how difficult it is to get those windows uh, to be in the same view range. Uh, I'm going to go uh, to my elevation views. Uh, let's see. Uh, there's the east elevation and you can see how low that door is where we have to cut from that garage floor We're up six foot eight. Uh, we're very low there. And if I go to the west side You can see that garage window is 11 feet off the ground. So at six foot eight from there We're below that window. So it's difficult to get that to show up uh, The only other thing I could suggest is at least it, it does show enough that we can dimension to it uh, the only downfall is it's got heavy lines through it. Our other option would be to take this view range. Let's do it. We might as well make it right here. I'm going to take this view range and bring that back inside that wall. Okay. And turn on those line weights so you can see that we still don't have the windows. And then I'm going to create a new view range just for that wall. So we go back back to our view tab, plan views. You can make as many plan regions as you like as long as they don't overlap. So I'm going to take this plan region and I might as well pick up this whole wall. I'm going to pick up there. You can see I'm careful not to overlap regions. And I'm going to go right to the outside of this wall and close it off so it's a closed loop. Escape. So now that's a new plan region. There it is. Now let's edit that view range. Uh, we'll associate it with the garage floor again. And you remember from the elevation it was uh, I think 11 feet something up to the top of the window. So let's set this to 10 feet from the garage floor and say OK to that. And now I'm going to turn the line weights back on and see how that reads. There it is. That's perfect. Now my window is reading the way it's supposed to. My house doors, windows, cabinetry are reading properly and so is my garage. Once we're finished with uh, the view, uh, the plan range, uh, plan regions, we can highlight those. So I'm just going to right click and I am going to hide in this view the category. So that will take up all plan region boundaries and hide them so the dashed lines are gone but the visibility remains. So in this plan I've got the overall general plan view range set and then I have two regions, one that takes care of two of the garage walls and one separate for the third garage wall.